Hello everyone and welcome back. Well, I haven't really played much in the past couple days, but I want to keep on a regular schedule of at least one video per day. So, this is actually going to be guest commentary on a battle that a friend of mine fought. His username is Catmax. And uh, this is an important video because the enemy is running an all-warrior monk army. And you see a good number of these people. Uh, warrior monks are extremely hardy. Their morale is really, really high. It's extremely hard to break them. And they will just sit in melee and just... I mean, they can just take anything, and they they won't rout. It's insane. So this guy has an all warrior monk army, four bows, and then the rest are uh, Naginati, Naginata warrior monks. He also has two great guards that come out of ambush. So let's look at Cat Max. He's got one bow Ashigaru, a bunch of katanas. I think it was six. Yeah, six katana samurai, one Naginata warrior monk, and then. Three. I think it was three Naginata Samurai. Yeah, three. No, it's two Naginata Samurai and two Naginata Warrior Monks. And then he also has a good cavalry uh, complement of three Yari Cavalry along with this general. Oh, excuse me, four. Four Yari Cavalry along with this general. So that's what he'll be running against this, this army of entirely Warrior Monks. Like I said, four bows, and the rest are Naginatas and two great guards. So this guy has chosen quality over quantity by far. These are probably the highest quality troops in the game, but you can't get very many of them because they're so expensive. But if, boy, they'll they'll stand and fight forever. You gotta kill every last one of them before they'll rout. So of course this guy's taking up a defensive position. You know, no big deal. See that before. Now we're gonna have some moving up. I'll just speed it up, because Cat Max kind of pauses here. He's going to wonder how he's going to deal with this. And it's very important to think about it when you're going against a warrior monk army. Because since the sizes are a lot smaller in a, in a warrior monk army, uh, you won't be able to ad adjust as much as a bigger army might. So, Oh, he also has a katana hero. I forgot about that. So, extreme quality on this army. It's going to be really tough to beat, especially these bow warrior monks. They have the longest range in the game. Besides maybe the bow hero, I haven't really tested them. But besides the bow hero, I mean, these guys have the longest range. They are beasts. And they, they're really accurate, too. Even with 75 men in the unit, they will kill very quickly. So that's it. That's this whole army right there. There are four. Yeah, four Naginata warrior monks and a katana hero is his infantry. Along with fo four bow warrior monks. Ended up being a really hard battle. Barely won. So let's see what he did. Now he's got this avenue right to the enemy. And he ends up kind of going down it. I would have split my force into two and went through the forest and kind of pincered him. Because if you got warrior monks, you're going to hit them on every side possible and just wear them down and try and break their morale, even though it's extremely hard. So he's got kind of a standoff. Both sides are kind of deciding what to do. But uh, actually, the warrior monk guy makes the first move. And why not? These bow warrior monks have, have such a range, he's just going to be able to shoot into Cat Max's troops. So he starts moving up to respond. He sends the Ashigaru out to skirmish. Uh, they end up getting just obliterated by these bow monks. I mean, they only got off one volley before they routed. It was bad. Whoops. So here we go. Look at that. Down to two-thirds of their strength already. They are wavering. They're going to get one shot off, and they break. And I don't blame them. So... We got the infantry moving up. He's moving into the trees. A good move on his part, moving into the trees. That all kind of neutralizes cavalry, and that ends up being really important, actually. Uh, so he sent some katana samurai to deal with them. But he's getting hammered by these bow troops. I would have definitely moved my cavalry up earlier and tried to scare him off. I mean, he only has these five infantry units. He could have easily maneuvered around them if there's only five infantry units to stop him. This katana samurai down to three quarters strength. Uh, the rest of these guys are pretty good. They're going to hit the uh, monk main line. Cavalry is hanging back. Again, I would have been more active with my cavalry use, but uh, that's just me. Especially that the you know an army with small numbers, they can't react as easy to really fast movements because they don't have as many units to spare. So he's going to collapse in on this flank here and just try and overwhelm these warrior monks with his katanas. He's going to get in combat here, but watch this unit of Naginata monks ends up obliterating this side. Just one unit. It's insane. All right, here comes his great guards in on ambush. Great guards are. Extremely powerful as well. Best cavalry in the game. Very expensive too. This guy's whole army is extremely expensive. So here comes the great guards. Uh, he has some Naginatas back here. On oh no, Yari cavalry here. 
I'm just going to try and take him out. He sends an infantry back. I think it was Nagi, not a samurai. Ends up winning here because the Great Guard's uh, combat penalty in the forest. So his Nagi, not a samurai clean up pretty well. Good move to lure his cavalry into the forest. Uh, that was the way to go. And see over here, we already have wavering. Uh, this unit, look, it's lost over half of its guys. They're still confident. These groups are wavering. Katana Samurai down to a third strength. Yari Cavalry is a half strength. And they're wavering, and these monks are just gonna just tear them apart. That whole flank is just gone. So anyway, he starts winning over here, and he obliterates this unit. Look, they got obliterated. They didn't even route. They did not route, even when being hit by two units. I mean, warrior monks you just can't count on them to route. Fire arrows start coming in. That's a big problem. That's gonna hurt his morale. We have some wavering here. But the Great Guards are pretty much gone. Neutralize his cavalry, which is good. He should have been a little more active after that on his cavalry. Even though there was hardly any cavalry left after it, to be honest. So look at his general. Eight men left in his general's unit. He's going to have to be extremely careful about his general from here on. He's going to keep him safe. Here come the Naginatas. I don't know, he must have just lost track of these guys. Because they ended up just sitting here for a long time, right in front of his general. He needs to look out a little more in the future. Four bodyguards in his general. But his general is still alive. That's very important. End up winning the battle. If his general had died there, battle's over. No question. So, uh, it's a good move on his part to keep him alive. Naginatas are going to come in along the back. I mean, look at this. Obliterated. The, the monks are all dead. They didn't rout. It's insane. They're all dead. Over on this side. is uh, Should have been careful about his Naginatas. He should have brought him back into the fight. But they were chasing cavalry. I guess he just kind of lost track of them. His general's gonna charge too. The warrior monks here are gonna do a good job on his general. Uh, he ends up taking a lot of casualties. And they, these monks are just pounding into him. He really needed to use some cavalry to get those, those these bows out. I mean, that was a huge factor. I'm surprised he didn't lose this. This was a very tough battle. And congratulations for winning. So, um, his infantry is basically gone. He just has this katana hero with seven men left. They fight to the last man as well. And here we are just fighting. Uh, some of his units are still in good shape, over 100 men. So uh, at this point, he's in pretty good shape. He just really needs to get these bows to stop firing. Uh, I would have probably just ignored the katana here at this point, left one unit on him to clean it up, and just moved everybody to just shut down these bows as fast as possible. His general comes in the back. Ended up being a bad decision. He should not have ran his general in like that. He should have kept him around and just maybe inspired a bow unit or just had him there to rally. Because uh, losing his general here ended up being a big problem. So here comes the Naginatas. They should have been in a lot earlier. So he's going to take out the bow units. A uh, big problem here though, he just has everybody hit one bow unit. He should have split them up. Because they would have gotten cut down by his infantry. Should have said one here, one here, one here. And won the battle. Uh, he still ended up winning though, so I'm not going to complain too much. But it was really risky. Especially with his general. Who is his general? Yes. His general is shattered. Really needed to shut down these bows. But they're going to come into melee. And uh, it looks like Cat Max is going to win at this point. Katana Hero still has two men. They're not routing. Bow Warrior Monk's still confident. But um, the general shatters at this point. Right then is when they shatter. So the monks are finally going to start becoming shaken. They're going to waver. And it just came down to numbers at this point. He was able to swarm his remaining troops and ended up winning. So good victory by Cat Max. Uh, I have a lot of complaints with how he went about it, but it ended up working out. So overall, he was good. Swarming those monks, uh, at least the infantry monks, was a good idea early on. He really needed to just, I mean, you just got to engage them, hit them from as many sides as possible, just cut them down. Also killing the general early. He left his units here just sitting there. Should have went in for the general uh, to get him dead. But... Ended up working out. Won the battle. So, good job. Uh, warrior monk armies are extremely hard to beat. There's just no way around it. You just have to kill them. Because they won't rout. Or you get lucky and kill their general. Make some good shots early on. And they're more vulnerable to getting their general killed. Because they're smaller. And they won't have as many units to spread out. And try to fend off cavalry. So it should have been uh, more active with his cavalry. He should have went in and tried to get those boats to at least move. To cover his infantry advance. But, uh... Ended up working out. So, good for him. Trapped his uh, great guards here. Boy, if those great guards had been out in the open, that could have been the battle over right there. But you saw the Naginata warrior monk over here that just obliterated this flank. There were like three units here, and one warrior monk took him out. 
really tough stuff to deal with. So congratulations for that victory. Well played, and uh, good luck in the future. All right, see you guys on the battlefield.